now see what user gave us the specifications so we still have this and this remaining right and it will actually give us the idea of using this equation the basic bjt equation right so we have vb vtis put here find ic right but before going further let's analyze and actually revise the early effect as well remember you are actually having this value you are supposing your co point would be here and this this value of ic from this formula will give you ic right but it gives you the value of ic of of, of course for vb is equal to 0 0.7 curve so this is 0 0.7 curve right but remember it has a slope it means ic value for this all the points of this curve is not same it's different but this equation actually give you the value of ic for vbe curve at the output side at saturation point start of the activity so you can see here it will provide the ic value here this one and you are requiring what value of icq for this vceq it means you are asking for obviously on the same 0.7 curve but vbe 0.7 curve but at this vce and there is no vc information here right so if you are not giving early effect or even if you are given an early effect but you are asked to forget or neglect the early effect you are on the right track go ahead use this formula find ic put here find rc put here find r1 and r2 right but now at this stage i am going to actually use the formula to make you understand if you are asked to use early effect and you are asked not to compromise for this difference so we have to use early effect so it's okay we already know that right this is the equation of early effect we already derived right these are the parameters of the equation the variables this and this is the saturation point right this point right this one here this one here and this one was the early effect point v a and ic is zero that's why we don't have any value here so we already know all the things here so why not to use this value right so we have va v saturation all these things vt vbe is and also for what value of vce we are asking for ic this equation is for this line and this line this line basically is same as this curve from v point three to so on on the right side so coordinate of this point will satisfy this equation so we will going to put vceq here icq here put all other values and we can find icq right so when we put all these value we got this value icq is equal to 5.75 milli ampere so that's the success now we can put here the value of ic we already have vce 7.85 we already have vcc 16 we just found ic so after putting all these value here we actually found the value of rc as 1.4 kilo ohm now put this ic here as well so when we put here ic the beta the vbe 0.7 the vcc 16 volt we actually have this equation that r1 is equal to some factor of r2 so it means you can have many solution of this equation it means you can have many combinations of r1 and r2 to have to have vbe of 0.7 but it should be related with this equation right so suppose any value of r2 and find the relevant r1 so i choose r2 is equal to 9.3 kilo ohm and when i put 1.3 9.3 kilo ohm here instead of r2 i have found r1 is equal to 162 kilo ohm one question may be arriving in your mind why i choose 9.3 kilo ohm basically i tried any random value 5 kilo ohm and i found that this is coming also small and we are actually asking to go for let's say 100k and 50k you already know in your 
from your experimental circuits right so then i try to increase this value of r2 to have at least one of them near to 100k or about that and also we have to take values of r2 to have value of r1 a an integer number it means you have not to round off too much otherwise your circle will not work so i when i put 9.3 kilo ohm i actually got 1.62.1 .1 or 2 something it's okay to round off that but for example if 162.6 and you are rounding it so it means you are compromising more towards because it's in kilo ohm right 162 kilo ohm it means the one you are rounding off is also at least one kilo ohm or about that right so so far we have actually designed our circuit right so let's analyze it so we have found this circuit we have designed right so let's see what we can do so now if we plug in an ac and couple it with a capacitor it means dc source will not take any load of this one but this can inject the ac signal into this circuit but here you can have both dc and ac voltages and currents right and this transistor will now work for total VBE total IC without this total is DC with this now here you have total VBE the DC one from this one and AC one contribution from this one right so it will work for total right input AC provides Delta VBE it will change the total right we initially have decided with only the DC one the DC VBE right when you apply input signal its contribution it's coming as ac vbe and this these both combines to have total vbe so it means at the negative swing of the input signal you are having total vbe reducing from 0.7 this is reducing so if it is reducing what is going to happen the ic is reducing and as this input is increasing its contribution to is ACVB is increasing and these both DC and ACVB combine to have total VBE increasing so as the IC increasing right so change in total VBE is because of input AC right which effectively produce change in collector current total collector current because of the basicity of this transistor this is the basicity if we be change ic change to follow this curve right obviously our load line is also fluctuating both these things are moving that is why we are actually having change in total current right so this changing total current is doing what this this current is here so it means it is changing something here so rc is constant so what is basically changing is delta ic yields a change in total collector to emitter voltages so dc is constant so it means dc is constant so what is changing basically is the acvce and this acvce is changing about v dc vce so actually total vce is changing this is what we have claimed right 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 now right so this is changing so we have total VCE here if we are actually measuring from here how about here actually V out is after this capacitor and this capacitor can only pass AC so we are actually having here only the AC VCE this one then how about this no this will be zero after this one because it actually not basically filtering the dc so dc will remains here total will remains here but only ac will pass here so it means you can see at the v not only ac collector current ac collector to emitter voltages about zero because dc stops here but only ac passed here 
so let's do simulation of this circuit to validate the dcq points and the ac swing and the maximum swing 